Uh, Charlie Gasparino, you may hear him piping in because he's coming up next to talk a little politics. Hello, Charlie. Uh, with this and Joe Biden. So um, you've been reporting on whether or not the former vice president will run. I saw a lot of reporting in be, other places yesterday that be, he is. Yeah, I just want to be clear. Say? For the last year, I've been reporting that he's likely to run. Okay. He's leaning towards running. How do I know this? <coughs> I've been speaking with his donors. His, he's very close with some people on Wall Street who I have as sources. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say who, but I mean, like, close. They, they speak almost every day uh, or every other day. And they will be his framework for raising money and going forward if he does go into it. So I asked him after I saw the line. There's been some pipe, people piping up that he's definitely running now. He's or no, no, you know, 99 percent sure. Yeah. I asked one of those folks in that inner circle for Biden, is he, what is he saying? And this person told me that he has is not fully committed and he is not saying if he is going to be fully committed at any point mm -hmm. and it got me thinking that he's really doing a gut check right now and he there whether is, he really wants it yeah, there is more than in than a theoretical possibility that he decides not to do this now the idea last time and we know this he and and i'm sure most people believe this was the right. reason he didn't run because of his son his son and that, that clearly and, was his yeah. reason and um, now but now he's i mean he really is he's an older guy i mean it's a tough job and i know the president the current president <laughs> I mean, in his early 70s, but Joe Biden in his first term would be uh, well, what 80, we were, 80 years old. What we reported so, uh, about six months ago was that what he was telling people would he would only run if Trump ran because the age wouldn't be an issue. Right. And so now we know Trump is, you know, unless he gets, in, uh, I guess, impeached or something, which is probably well, not the likelihood happen. is he's running. He's right. running, right? So, uh, so it looks like you know he's that that the age issue is not what's what's ho force uh, holding him back. But there's clearly something else. My guess is that what's going on in the Democratic Party. They're going party. too far left. They're going too far left for a liberal like Joe Biden. And it just, that, that tells you. I mean, all you have to do is look at the, the, the sort of cheering section of the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. Yeah. On Amazon pulling out of New York. Yeah, AOC. you wouldn't have heard that from Biden. And you're right. He's not like he's been a, um, a conservative guy or even no. a, not very moderate. I mean, he, he's been to some extent moderate on some issues, he's foreign policy. He's been probably. centrist on foreign policy yeah. and some, some budgetary issues. But this guy is, more, is a liberal. There's no doubt. And he has a liberal voting record. What uh, about his connections to Wall Street, which you know about? I mean, that doesn't help you these days either. I know you raise um, the money from them, but being any way connected to Wall Street is not a positive in a Democratic primary. Yeah, but I don't think he, um, he his policies, I mean, he didn't stop Dodd Frank from happening, just so you know. Right. I mean, he was Dodd Frank happened under the the, Ob the Biden Obama administration. So remember, he has he has. I mean, yes, he has a lot of friends on Wall Street who like him. They think he's more centrist than anybody else. He's also a very affable guy. So Wall Street likes that he's not you know crazy. Well, I think but, the, the people who support him see him as someone who can win. That too. But he's got friends on Wall Street that will raise a lot of money for him. Now, here's the other sort of interesting thing. Uh, Bloomberg is weighing whether to run, and he would be yeah. the other moderate. If if Biden runs, my guess is Bloomberg doesn't run, and because they they basically yeah, but he still spends like half a billion dollars on other things, right? Or I have I, I have heard, you know, listen, our friend Noel Nikpour tweeted yeah. this out yesterday, and I've heard it as well that he is telling people that if he doesn't run, his his checkbook will be open, and we're talking sizable amounts of money. Yeah, he we got spend. we got to run, but that's nothing to to Mike Bloomberg to spend half a billion dollars, but it could have a big impact. He have a bigger impact if he doesn't run. By he, the way, here's yeah. the thing: Mike Bloomberg is liquid. At forty-six billion, it's crazy liquid. That means he can pull it out of his. Like Kabuto, that kind of money. It, I, <laughs> Kabuto got, money. That's what we, we, we got. Kabuto money. This Bloomberg.